welcome to Ace Designs 107 and today I have a Cinema 4D tutorial showing you how you can convert a 2D logo or anything that you want in 2D to 3D. So first of all you'll need two programs for this tutorial. You will need Photoshop and Cinema 4D. So first of all I'm actually just going to start from the ground up and just work it away through this tutorial. It shouldn't take too long and the reason why I'm doing this tutorial compared to other tutorials is that this was requested between, um, you know, some comments below. I've, I've had many requests saying, oh, can I have a tutorial on how to convert like this to 3D? So it's actually really, really important skill to learn. So I'm just going to go and grab a logo off Google. I'm just going to type in phase logo. And you will need the logo on PNG. It does help. So I'm just going to go PNG. I'm going to just get standard red one. There we go. I'm going to view that, I'm going to save it as on my to my desktop. Okay, 2D to 3D logo tutorial. I'm just honestly going to start off with this whole thing brand new. Because I just got back from work and I just want to say guys, um, you guys can see that I'm uploading this tutorial at late, late, late time. Like my, I have my upload schedule at 1 p.m. Australian Eastern Time, but unfortunately, I just got busy with work. I got caught on last minute, so I just wasn't able to upload at 1 p.m. So these guys will have to excuse me for that. So I'm gonna go into File New. If it's gonna let me. All right, sweet. Should just take a towel. So I'm gonna go to File Open and just open up my logo. If you have your logo in Photoshop format, you can just keep on following this. So just open up wherever your logo is. So I'm just going to find it. Where is it? Great. I can't fucking find it. Oh, there it is. Sweet. Alright, so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to get our magic wand tool. We're going to click on it and hopefully with our magic wand tool selection it will select everything. But this isn't extremely accurate. So I'm just going to do the tolerance up to 10. Mess around with the tolerance until you get something that you like. Now I'll do 20. Right, 20 seems to be good, just for this demonstration. Then I'm going to right click and do make work path. I'm going to make the work path with a tolerance of 1. And sweet, so it puts all these anchor points. So these anchor points actually aren't that accurate. So I'm going to redo that with a tolerance of 0 0.5. Okay, it's still not accurate, so I'm going to go to work path tolerance, so I'm going to do 2 then. Okay, so 2 is much better, um, you know, the anchor points are all straight. And then what are we going to do is we're going to go to file, export, paths to illustrator. We're going to make it sure that this is set to work path, press OK. And then we're going to save it as to 2D to 3D logo tutorial, save it there. So now we're just going to open up Illustri um, Cinema 40. Now, you guys might have trouble um, because of when you're making those work paths and you're messing around with the tolerance, it's very hard to get the anchor points exactly to the logo. And when you extrude the logo in Cinema 40, it might not look perfect, but that's fine. You know, that stuff can all be figured out if you just find the perfect tolerance for your specific logo. Um, you know, as these guys could see there, I just messed around the tolerance. Huh. Cinema 40 is opening up now, and sweet. So I'm going to go to File, Merge, and with Merge, we're just going to open up where we saved our AI file. Now, you can basically do the work path in the same thing in Illustrator. So if you guys do not have Photoshop, if you have Illustrator, you can do it, but I don't know how to do it in Illustrator. Um, you know, I just don't know. So here is our phase logo, and actually turned out perfect. Our work path has worked fine. So the next thing that we are going to do is simply hold down our click and get extrude snurbs with a letting glow. Then grab our phase logo and just click and drag it to make it a child of the extrude nerves. I want to change the movement to like 90 and then we really have our logo. That's basically it. Um, we can go to the cap so I can just show you standard, standard setup. Can go to the fillet cap, fillet cap. Change the radius to like 1, 2, 2, that's fine. And then we've got something like that. You can do something else like this. So you can press this, press Control c Control v and then change this to fill it, change this to fill it, and then change the steps to 2. 
Okay, sweet. So now I'm just going to open up a Lightroom and do a quick example render of what it should look like. You know, just an example. I want to add a little bit of professionality on this tutorial. So I know it's going to be quick, so that's why I just want to open it up. I will not be supplying this Lightroom in the description below. I just feel like this is my Lightroom and fuck you. Okay, so no, nah, I'm joking. I don't mean to be rude, guys. I'm just trying to make jokes. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and just import my thing. So I'm going to grab my logo. By the way, you can find Lightrooms for free off YouTube. So don't think that I'm leaving you guys all stranded. So I'm just going to paste this onto our Lightroom. I'm going to hide these. Perfect. Okay, sweet. So we have our logo done, basically, guys. And one thing that you can do is with the copied layer of your filler cap, you can put um, black on your standard one and then put purple on your round one. And then basically what you should have is you should have purple on the outside and then black on the inside. That is really cool, guys. Um, that is how a lot of, I get a lot of questions asking about, or oh, how do you make the color on the outside of whatever logo you're making a different color to what you're making in the inside? And the simple tutorial is just do a fillet with a two on the control G. And we basically have that. And another thing that you can do if you want to add a little bit of depth to this logo is you can um, put like some throwsy effects on it. But one like, nice thing that I like to do is I like to grab the original layer, go to my move tool and just drag this back a little bit like that. Not too far, just, just like that. And that should give me something nice and it didn't really work out. So what you can do though is just drag it back and then you can render it out. And then what you'll see is you'll have like that step division between the actual edge and the actual logo. So it will look really cool like that. And you can add some really cool things to it. Um, another thing that you can do is just add like a lava texture on the outside. I'm just giving you suggestions guys for how to make your logo look really cool. But besides that guys, I really appreciate all the support that you have been giving me on my channel. I'm going to continue with these daily uploads. I'm actually not going to stop with this. You guys might be a bit surprised with that. Um, but yeah, I'm a man of my word. I'll keep this and keep this going. I am busy with like working that. I've done 30 hours this week. This is my first job. So, you know, 30 hours of my first job in the first week. It's a pretty big deal, guys. Um, but hopefully I'm going to be getting decent pay for that. I'm not working at Macca's if you have any questions about that. I'm actually working at a full-on fledged restaurant. So it's really interesting like that. Um, besides that, guys, I'll see you in the next tutorial or next video on my channel. And yeah, peace, guys. Он не мальчик, он никогда не заплачет Если прижал груди, значит не одурачит Не растопачит чувства, а сохранит обед Пацан не скажет, прости, дело не в тебе Не растрепает всем какая ты постель зая Не будет издеваться попросту, сердце дерзая И никогда не превратит свои слова на фанчики И лишь одна сумела что-то разглядеть В уличной романтике, банчики, фото, сервантики Огоньки, свечки, люди, лунатики И я как только с хачки, я всегда останусь верен, решай сама Душа